so I am stepping out of my house to get some groceries at a supermarket close to where we live. You know, a girl has got to shop for her family. And I get to the gate and it is protocol as usual. In the past few days, there have been a massive return or a massive uprising of coronavirus cases around China and particularly in the city of Nanjing where we live. So now you get to the gate and there's so much barricades. Before you can come into the estate, you have to show a 48 hour valid coronavirus test. And man, that is just so next level, okay? I mean, before we could get past with just a green health code, but that's not the case anymore. Even going out to the road, you barely see cars around. The once busy high expressways are now very scanty as there are less and less people going about and commuting in the streets. Yesterday, I had gone to the supermarket to buy some vegetables and they were out of a lot of things. I was terrified. It seemed like we were going into war or something. But thankfully, I came back today and they had restocked. So I just decided to do some shopping before I'll come back tomorrow and I'll not see any food stuff again. that is going on the question that comes to mind is one that has been on the lips of many when exactly is china going to open up her borders and allow people to come in most especially international students who are stuck outside china in their individual countries 
when can they come back to China to continue their studies? And it is safe to say that nobody knows the correct answer to that question because everyone is hoping on the Chinese government to release some kind of announcement that would at least give hope to the students. However, with the recent uprising of coronavirus cases again in China, I honestly will just say that the reopening of the borders for people to come into China is going to be later rather than sooner. However, my heart goes to everyone who is stuck outside China and unable to complete their disciplines. It is what it is, guys. COVID, it is what it is. Ah, ah, you catch it all for Ma. Ah, ah, ah. So. Ah. So before they let me pass the gate, I hope you guys can hear me. I had to show my health code, not just my health code, but I had to show the last time I had a COVID test. Okay, so they're making us do what? They're making us show 48 hour COVID test results. So literally, you have to always have a 48 hour COVID test, negative test result for you to come in that's into the, the estate or the community where you live. And that's also the same for like anywhere you go. Whew. Talking through a mask is such a task, you guys. However, in these bleak times of coronavirus cases, we still have to be grateful that at least we're still alive and healthy. I mean, it could have been worse, but what we're experiencing are just temporary lockdown situations, which will hopefully get better. To wrap up this video, I'm going to give you guys a short story of what happened yesterday when I got back home. I was trying to get in the elevator and there were three aged people in the elevator, two old women and one man. And as I tried to get in the elevator, they were just giving me this really bad attitude, really like motioning for me to wait, like wait for the elevator to go up and come down so I can take it. Basically, they didn't want me to get in the elevator with them. And at the same time, they were trying to adjust their nose masks when I insisted and got on the elevator as well they started trying to adjust their nose masks and all of that and um, i think the man wasn't even wearing his mask and suddenly one of the women who is probably his wife starts shouting at him like put on your nose mask can't you see that you have to put on your nose mask i honestly found it hilarious and i wasn't even bothered because i'm already used to things like this but then it was just a funny experience and today something totally on the opposite happened i got in the elevator with this really nice neighbor of mine and because she saw my hands were full, she helped me to press my floor, which is like the 15th floor. She pressed her floor where she was going to, and then she pressed my floor for me because she already knew where I lived. And that was like such a sweet gesture, and I was really just impressed by it. How oh, Bye bye. So, this is what still gives me hope about China the fact that you will meet the good. And you also meet the bad but you might meet the bad just now and five minutes later you meet the good <laughs> so don't give up you guys i know there are a lot of them that are not very nice but i promise you they are still the very heavenly god sent ones and i can only pray for you that you meet more of the good ones. Okay, I think I should take off my mask. I'm in my house now, literally in my corridor. I'm just going to open the door and I'm home. So I can afford to actually take off my mask and talk. So like I was saying, I can only pray for you that you meet the good ones with a good heart and less of the ones that are not so nice. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another of my videos. Bye.